Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about I Know What You Did Last Summer. The new TV show that comes out on Amazon Prime, not the movie that came out in 1997. That came out like 20-some years ago, we know a lot about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about all that in just a second here, but first I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description below. Alrighty, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. Well, oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Oh, you son of a... God, don't do that. Well, sometimes, that is better. I'm going to be watching the trailer for the first time in a little reaction video. You'll be able to see the full thing on TikTok, but I'm going to put, like, little clips of it throughout this video to make it interesting. Amazon Prime. Got that Jeff Bezos smile at the beginning of it. So this series is essentially going to be, like, the, pretty much the same thing as the movie, just a retelling in, like, a modern day, which I'm not super... I'm not a big fan of that at all. We've seen it happen, like, a million times. Like, for example, the Scream TV series does the exact same thing. I don't know if I'm, like, a super big fan of that, but I'm still gonna give this show a chance. It's essentially the same concept. Kids at graduation hit somebody with their car and then like a year later they have somebody saying I know what you did last summer and they're coming for him. I mean like you can't really change up that format so much if you're gonna make a show based off of this so I get that but I just kind of wish they would have taken some kind of different approach with it. Like it doesn't seem like they really are doing anything new besides the fact that it's taking place in a modern era. If you watch my trailer reaction basically my thoughts on it are it just looks like they took the concept of I know what you did last summer and put like a, a dash of euphoria on there. Like the, the the show, Euphoria, not actual euphoric, like, drugs and shit. Did I accidentally click on the Euphoria new trailer, or? I don't know, man. I'm, like, I got some not-so-good thoughts about this show, I'm gonna be honest. But let's talk about the good stuff first, because I like to sugarcoat my shit. Like, literally. The soundtrack sounds amazing. Just from the trailer, I can tell, like, it's gonna be pretty dope. The shots are gorgeous. The cinematography was really cool. I liked what they were doing with that. Ooh. Ooh. Turn that off, dog. But I think they're missing the point about what made that original film so good. I talked about in my podcast that I did with Matt a little while ago, like, the big thing about that film, that what you think is the draw to the film is the mystery element, the, the how they murder someone and a year later they find out that someone knew about it all along, who could it be? That's not the draw to the movie. That concept sounds interesting, and maybe if you've never heard of the movie and you just, like, kind of know that about it, you want to go check it out for that reason. But the reason that that movie is so good and so iconic is because of the characters. It's not because the mystery element. I talked about this on the podcast. Like, the mystery element is fine. It's not great. It's not the greatest mystery ever. You kind of can figure out, like, what's going on. But the big draw to that film for me, what I enjoyed the most was the characters, how they got along with each other, their dialogue. There's a lot of big misses in that original movie. But what makes it one of the best, like, kind of Scream knockoff movies is the characters. Scream is also really good because of the characters. It has a much better mystery element and a much better and iconic killer than I know you did last summer, and that's why it's the bigger movie out of those, like, uh, like teen drama horror films. But I can already tell from this trailer that these characters are going to be very uninteresting. You saw that there's like a, a shot where a girl walks by and she's clearly like live streaming herself. She's like, oh, this party's so gross. Oh my God. Like I don't, I have no interest in seeing characters like that. I've seen characters like that in so many different TV shows. For example, Slasher. I know I've had a, a few people request for me to talk about the new Slasher. I watched season two of that show, and I just was not a fan. The characters are so cliche. They are so, like, stereotypical teenage characters. I just, I can't get into a show like that. The kills were awesome in season two. Like, there are some disgusting, brutal kills. There's this one scene where, like, this dude gets frostbite and his, like, fingers are all black and he's freaking out. It's awesome. Like, that is super scary to me. There's some really cool moments in, in that, uh, that show, but overall, it completely lost me because the characters are just so unlikable and annoying. But I feel like we're missing the point of why we like that original movie so much. It's not so much the mystery element. Like, sure, that's the thing that brought us there, but the thing that kept us there, and what is still making us want to talk about it now and make shows about it this day, what is those awesome characters? Like, there's a reason the Scream TV series is just not as good as the movies. Like, it's fine. I like it. I enjoyed it. I had to, I recently watched the entire thing because I did a little review on it, but like, it's just not the same without the characters. Which is why the sequels in the I Know franchise just completely fall apart, because you lose characters with every movie. Now, even though I've talked kind of negatively, especially about Scream 3, all of the Scream sequels are a million times better than both of the sequels to I Know What You Did Last Summer. Why? Because 
because they were consistent. Sure, we got some characters murdered along the way, but you always had those three characters still there. Dale, Sydney, and Dewey. Like, you could not make a Scream film without those people. Like, if, uh, oh, God forbid, God forbid, but if one of those actors dies, you couldn't make another Scream film. God, for, God forbid that happens, of course. Another reason why I feel like one of the legacy characters isn't gonna get killed off until, like, later in this new, like, trilogy of Scream movies. I talk about Scream a lot, so let's focus on I Know What You Did Last Summer. We're once again focusing on all new characters for a TV show, where all of their development should have went towards was making these characters likable and cool people to, like, hang out with. I just have this bad feeling from the trailer, I kinda am getting these vibes, unfortunately, that these characters are gonna suck, and that is gonna ruin the entire show for me. Like everything I cover on this channel, though, I am staying optimistic. I'm sure that there's a gleaming bit of hope that this series could be really cool. Like I said, that soundtrack sounds pretty dope, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a lot of these shots are pretty sweet. God, I am so worried about these tr these characters just sucking and me, like, losing interest because of that. Because it looks like the horror aspect isn't gonna be, like, the main focus, which is like, if that's not gonna be the main focus, and you have garbage characters, I'm gonna lose interest pretty fast. Hopefully they're just saving the best for the actual show, though. I'm staying optimistic, but what are your thoughts on the new I Know What You Did Last Summer TV show that comes out this October? Are you more excited for this or the Chucky TV show that premieres on Sci-Fi? Actually, I believe on the same day. Leave me a comment about it down below. Thank you all so much for watching this new video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Check out my little reaction video on TikTok. I'm trying to, like, relaunch my TikTok because I rarely post on there, so, like, make sure to check that out and follow me there. Support me on Patreon today to become an executive producer on Red Right Hand, my Scream fan film. You can check that out by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.